This week, we get ready for Life Day, investigate another Mando mystery, and more. Life Day! Oh, it's not till next week? Oh, okay, hang on. Well, you know what? Let's just, let's get to the news. Bright suns, everyone! A new shipment from Batuu has arrived on ShopDisney.com. Adopt an adorable galactic animal from the creature stall, including lothcats, porgs, tauntauns, Kowakian monkey lizards, and more. Or, if you're more like Jyn Erso and you love a good handcrafted plaything, the Toydarian toy maker has Stormy, a handful of adorable stuffed characters, and the perfect instruments to start your own cantina band. Don't have anyone to start a band with? Well, just get a bunch of monkey lizards. They look pretty punk rock. Head to ShopDisney.com right now to check out the full selection. Mando Mondays are still going strong, and you know what that means? It's time for another installment of Mando Mystery, Mystery, Mystery! Last week, we uncovered this mysterious clue, and I was very wrong about what we were looking at. It turns out this tread-looking door was actually a detail from the back of a new Hasbro Mandalorian Beskar helmet. So shiny. And this week, what have we here? Well, it's brown and kind of looks like a dry creek bed or like a drapey, capey piece of fabric. Could be the folds of the child's little jacket. Or maybe it's a miniature tree of life. Check back Monday on StarWars.com when we find out for sure what this thing is that we're looking at. The Star Wars Celebration Store is back, baby. And tomorrow, if you purchased a ticket for the 2020 event that had to be postponed because 2020, you get one week of early access to a whole lot of new loot. This time, the exclusive merchandise includes a slew of Empire Strikes Back items, including this sweet jacket, a handful of child-related items that are all adorable, every single one of them. Oh, and what is this? The Star Wars.com Star Wars is for Everyone shirt is coming back in more color options and sizes. And for the first time ever, Jedi Temple Challenge merch for those of us who were sad we didn't get to try out for the show. One day, Kristen, your time will come. For all the details and to see more items that will be available, check out StarWars.com and get ready to hit up the Celebration Store when it opens for business tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're also getting an all-new episode of The Mandalorian. Last week brought us the skin-crawlingly good Chapter 10, The Passenger. Star Wars is about family, and that means foundlings and their dadalorians, frog ladies and their egg clutches, and yes, even horrifying space spiders and their nests of delicious young creepy crawlers. And the always pitch-perfect Amy Sedaris was back as Pelimoto, whose droid helped use a pod racer engine for some good old-fashioned barbecue. It was almost like being back on Batuu. Don't forget to tune in for Chapter 11 tomorrow, streaming only on Disney+. And we are just five days away from the premiere of the LEGO Star Wars Holiday Special. Tune in beginning on Life Day proper, November 17th, for all the friendship, Easter eggs, and fun streaming on Disney+. This week in Star Wars history, we're turning back time and tuning in to Industrial Light and Magic Creating the Impossible. The documentary, which debuted back in 2010, told the history of ILM through interviews with filmmakers and breakdowns of how some classic film scenes were created. For many fans, this was where we learned how to bring starships into space with optical depositing, the basics of resurrecting prehistoric dinosaurs with stop motion and CG, and beyond. Ten years later, and we are still consistently in awe of the wizards over at ILM. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. And be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.